Woo! And Magpie! In this video, I have an idea. I actually have another idea. A great idea, in my opinion. I got this one because I have a really, really good idea. Possibly. Innovative, at least. And I was prepping for that idea. And I think... Maybe... Yeah, you can see it. If anybody is able to pick out what the idea is, good luck. You will win this guitar. But I was sitting here, I, I was starting to prep for it, and then I was looking into my graveyard of things with strings, and it seems as though I have to do something before I do my great idea. So I have this. A vase. Gonna have to re put new tuning forks on it because the tuning forks are in the toy piano that I put piano strings in. And I'm gonna put other strings in it soon as well just to try that. But the idea is to take this neck that is very much not in use and put that as the whammy. So the whammy is its own Instrument. It's got potential. Potential to be really fun, if not great. So let's take off the neck. Let's put new stem screwdriver on it. And then figure one thing out at a time. Maybe two. is to get it on here. So I guess we just drill a hole in this one. If I take this one and I cut off the bend, so I cut like here. Okay, another question is angle? Question mark? Super short whammy. <laughs> We did the, the world's longest whammy, and it was so erotic. <laughs> we did two guitars, one whammy. Link in the description and in the corner for that video if you want to see something cute. YOLO! It's perfect. Okay. Hell yeah. The strings are gonna come down here. And then I think I'm just gonna utilize this one that I just happen to have here. It's gonna look solid enough. But then the question is, do I put an actual pickup here? <laughs> like that. Or do I just piezo like this one where the strings are? Okay, that's gonna be really trippy! But I still need to get the piezo to like not be visible. I, I, I need to drill a hole from here to here. And I don't think I wanna go with the same output. So I wanna have two outputs here. Really cool if you can separate those two signals. I just have to make a new plate like this one. So just 3D printing a plate with two holes. So two separate outputs. It's gonna be easy!
Cool, <laughs> right? Short intro of me playing before I show. Stop showing stuff. Nice. Looking good. So funny enough, the whammy bar doesn't really work anymore. Or like you, you can't whammy with it anymore. <laughs> A tiny bit, but what's cool is that you get the signal obviously through To this one That picks up this so that's only this this one is turned off I'll turn it on. We mix. Ooh, we got both. Very nice. Now we're reverbing this one. You can go crazy on this mic, but only play the guitar. Just as a, like a big part of when I do stuff like this is exploring, okay, I did something really stupid, but what is this instrument now? How is this instrument working? What can you do with it? What's the new possibilities? Not only like, oh, I can go crazy with it now. You can tune it. in my opinion, pretty cool. Really interesting how small movements uh, does so much shenanigans. And you can move it in that direction as well. I actually wish I was a tappy tap guy, because then I could tap with this hand and this hand, probably. But I, I really cannot do that. When your mom is out to buy groceries and you're left alone home with your dad and you got extreme daddy issues. Wow. Something cool, maybe? I don't know if it's possible, but we can...
I really like it for what it is. It's very, very fun to play. Uh, lost some strings, but as you saw, I was able to put it back. <laughs> uh, something that I didn't really comment on is the fact that it's uh, kind of in the way. <laughs> but I mean, maybe you can play like this or something. I'm not sure what you can do. My only problem is that I'm gonna want to keep this like, like it is. So, then I'm gonna have to invest in another guitar. But yeah, the next guitar idea is actually possibly pretty good. Maybe. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you to all channel members that are supporting what I do. This is essentially where the money goes <laughs> if you support this channel. So, to all the haters that think it's outrageous what I do with guitars. Sorry. I do, however, want to get quick information out there that for channel members, I'm going to start uploading as separated tracks as possible from when I do experiments like this. And you can make whatever you want with it, if you want to make anything with it. And that goes for as many of these experiment uh, videos as possible. So that's that's just for fun. You can you can use it however however the. F but for this one, you're gonna have like a drum track when I did drums. Then the guitar was going into this, the ego driver, and then from the ego driver over to the radical delay, uh, into the procession, old blood noise reverb. And then that goes into the looper. So that was the guitar signal. And then the yuku neki whammy went into low fuzz, delay radical, super delay, into Charlie Foxtrot for some craziness. And then afterneath, huge reverb. And then I just added these two at the end. And those were just looped, overdubbing tracks. <laughs> so. It is what it is, but maybe it is.